share this channel on the internet. Yep, you're back and we're back and this is part two. And if you saw part one, you notice we launched off the rain runner in the middle of the day because earlier in the morning it already rained so it cleared up and we took our chances but it started to look cloudy again. But you already know that a little cloudy weather is not gonna keep us home. Especially when we're planning to grill some late lunch at an island. But I think the weather had other plans for us. Definitely it doesn't look like it's gonna clear up. We're trying to fight with Mother Nature and use some mental telepathy. But it's not working. So we try to play it smart and outrun the weather. And we started heading out west. But then we ran into a patch of rain that wouldn't let us keep going forward so we decided to turn left and head down south. And finally we saw a patch of sun so we headed towards that island and we anchored up but as soon as we finished tying everything together guess what the rain caught us. So luckily we had a big umbrella so Gita wouldn't get wet but it started to get windy so we had to pick up anchor and head out. Now the question was are we gonna go home or go somewhere else? And by this time we were getting hungry. And by the time we reached the Sanibel Bridge it looked like now it was clear towards the west side so we were debating if to go home and have barbecue in the backyard or still stick to our plan and have barbecue on an island and here's where we left off and if you know us by now what do you think we did yep we headed out west to find another island And just in case you're wondering, yep, Ogita's one of a kind person because she can actually fall asleep sitting down while the boat is moving. I guess it must be that sea breeze. Oh, oh it may we have found land ahead that we're gonna have lunch finally because we have been running for the rain for the past two hours the closer we got to the island we got a big surprise we saw a real life bald eagle too bad that we scared it away when we got close to the island well if you're a local boater from the west coast or have visited the west coast you know this island looks familiar because it's well known it is picnic island but I already see something different. The tide is so high that it's mostly covering the whole sandy area. Oh yeah. Oh look, sir. what is that? Wow. What's this blowing up? Where? All right, so after running around uh, away from the rain, finally made it to Picnic Island, another island that we were originally coming over here, but we had to divert and go to another place. So look at this, we got the whole island to ourselves mine. And luckily, it kind of we kind of find a hole, <laughs> a hole in the sky. Finally, check it out. This is super high tide. Never seen the tide so high before. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Finally, we're gonna have some lunch because hungry. So finally got, finally got no rain. Cause it was getting a little crazy with all this rain. Well, today we're trying something new. And if you saw part one, Ogita already used it for blocking the rain. But now we're gonna use it again to block some of the sun so we don't get burned. We brought a big patio umbrella and we're gonna tie it to the boat. And hopefully it doesn't fall down. All right guys, so finally we settled down at the island and it stopped raining. And guess what time it is? 
Guess what time it is? What time is it? What time is it? Boom! There it is, baby. Sausage time and churraco, baby. Churracaso. Aquí en el... La isla. And finally it cleared up. And we, whoa, we had the island to ourselves, but you know, as soon as it clears, as soon as it clears up, we got you know boaters coming by, hanging out, or I guess, or maybe they smell the churraco on the barbie, baby. But yeah, we're here chilling. And then wet afternoon, and then the kids over there trying to do some casting. Still learning. We got her doing what? What you doing? What you doing? What is she usually doing? Dancing or cooking or sleeping. Today she's sleeping <laughs> while I cook. Time one more time. Boom! Right there, buddy. So yeah, finally we can settle down and eat. So I mean, that we were planning to go somewhere else, but weather kind of drove us around, pushed us around, got us wet. And they were just bullying us everywhere. So finally let's settle down. And we did. But cool. Better than nothing, right? Well, this kind of feels like, you know, you had a hard day at work and you finally get home and relax and you sit on the couch and enjoy watching TV. Well, this is exactly what it feels, but at a different location, at an island with a beautiful view over the bay and smelling the salt in the air. Oh, wait a minute. Or is it the salt on the churraco while doing some sea lax and enjoying the sounds of nature? And I think this is a great way to balance things because you know, I love to party and have lots of fun in the sun, but sometimes you need to get away and enjoy a little peace and quiet. That thing out there, really like island barbecue brats with an umbrella this time. Hey, hey! We doing it. Oh, look, 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 you saw a fish jump? This fish is jumping right there, see him? Sardines. Oh, oh, look at the fiber, Frank. Right. Right. You see it long. That's with the green. Like That's what we're saying. Okay, so if you're wondering what the kids are talking about with Oguita, I guess the kids are giving Oguita cutting lessons on Churraco. And what they're saying is to cut the meat against the fiber or across the fiber. Like that is easier to chew. And I tried it both ways. And yeah, they're right. It's a little easier to chew, but to me, I don't care. I'm gonna eat it both ways. With the fiber, against the fiber, out of the fiber, in the fiber, I don't care. It tastes good, so I'm gonna eat it. Churra King. Anyway, Come on now, you don't eat about 17 churracos talking about you don't want to get caught on camera. Uh, look at that team, bruh. Looking like vampires. Look at this red. Look. Got a blood cell right there. Look. You're in that red team, bruh. That's how you like it. Here you go. No, I'm good. You don't want the. I thought you like it red. Ali? Now you don't want it? Alright, so we're going to do some island exploration. Check it out. This is awesome over here. Look at this. How it's funny how the water currents is changing this island around. Because this whole thing here is a whole giant sand bar looking thing. And now it's like it's all cut up. We got a watch right here, my. Oh, and look at this. It just keeps <laughs> Mother Nature's 
shifting the island around, I guess. It was such a high tide this morning. But check it out, look, he's even cutting through here too. Well, that's crazy. Let's go check it out, see what's here. Yeah, see, little by little, it's cutting the island in pieces. Oh, what is this? I got a little trail here. Oh, look at this. This is awesome here. So yeah, after all, the plans changed, but it turned out pretty good. Because this is an awesome place here. We chilling. We got another boater over there. But basically, we got the whole island to ourselves. So we get that good, uh, what time is it? What time is it? Churraco, baby. Yeah, we're going to change it up a little bit, you know. Got to get some churraco, some beef in the system. But yeah, this whole thing here used to be a giant, I guess, cove full of sand. Or a sticking out. I don't guess it was sticking out. And now the 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 tides and the water is kind of cutting it up in pieces. It's pretty cool. Look at that. We're chilling right here. Check it out. Awesome. And then we got whoop. We hanging out. Yeah, you see it. This time we were <laughs> we brought our umbrella to get away from the sun. Cause you know, after the rain, the sun came out and almost killed us. Luckily, I brought the umbrella but it's pretty cool and what you, you guys look like lions after you guys ate you're hanging out on the tree that's what you guys look like like you just ate uh what is that uh, a deer antelope or something and you guys just are you still eating what are you eating now raisins all right so we chill it we chill it down though what do you hear love it hear nothing well you can hear the engine in the background and a little music, but lagging the peace and quiet. You guys lagging the peace and quiet? A little relaxing day today after the storm caught us. <laughs> All right, so. Well, I do have to say that after spending a few hours getting chased by the rain earlier during the day, it turned out really good because we enjoy this relaxing on the island. But now, it's time to pick up and get going. But we're gonna do it at a slow pace. We're not in a hurry. And I think bringing the umbrella was a pretty good idea because earlier in the day, it helped Ugida not get wet. And now it helped all of us not get burned by the sun. And here it is the perfect example for the Florida weather. One minute it could be a storm and the next is a beautiful sunny day. I guess it's something that we learned to live with and adjust. But something that caught us by surprise was the low tide once again. Well But we managed to get the rain runner loose. Well, I think we did the right thing, the wise decision to ride out the rain because look how beautiful the day turned out to be. 
And if we would have went home thinking it was never going to clear up, we would have missed out on a great sea laxing food time at the island. So remember, don't be afraid how ugly your day starts. Just keep pushing forward and hope for the best. And you'll see that it turns out to be better than you think. And it's incredible to believe that just a few hours ago we were riding through the perfect storm. And look at now, it looked like it never happened. And we're really glad that we decided to stay and weather it out.